All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and dude, you need serious help. When you really look at it, women are built to be sex objects for us men. They're supposed to obey us and do as we tell them. We're literally the stronger and more superior gender. If you disagree, you're actually sick in the head. And I find it really funny when people make tweets like this, but then complain that no one of the opposite gender is attracted to them. It's just like, you are the reason why they aren't attracted to you, my man. Because if you actually, like, take a gander at this dude's profile, like, 80% of it's him complaining, oh, why don't women love me? I'm so lonely. It's just like, well, boy, I wonder why. I just really find it nuts how people try and say, like, man, if you're a woman, you're just a sex object for men. It's like, we are all human beings here, correct? So we should be being treated as such, and we should treat others as such. Like, that's common sense, you would think. And if you thought that was that, oh boy, strap in, because I got a few more tweets to look at today. This being one of them. You might understand how creepy and scary it is to follow a girl around because you want their number and they keep saying no. Well, maybe explain your reasoning for rejecting me in the first place? If I just want to talk to a girl, she has no right to walk away from me. That's disrespectful and could have some repercussions. You women are so rude for no reason sometimes. Disrespect me in that manner and you'll see how far you make it to your car slash house. Disrespect me and you'll see how far you make it to your car slash house. Dog, you literally just admitted that you would rape someone if they disrespected you. Are you insane? Because when I read that sentence, that's all I'm thinking of is, okay, this guy definitely just admitted to rape. How else is that sentence to be interpreted, my man? I also find it funny this guy is just like, oh, well, explain your reasoning for not wanting to talk to me. It's just like, dog, if someone doesn't want to talk to you, they don't have to talk to you. Like, it should be left at that, you get what I mean? People don't need to explain themselves. If they're uncomfortable, they're uncomfortable. They can leave it at that. Not to mention the original tweet actually provided a reason and explanation. And, you know, maybe you could try and say, like, oh, that see how far you make it to your house or car thing is just a just a meaningless threat. Maybe he doesn't actually support rape. I see so many girls in public wearing stuff like this. It's driving me insane. Women don't dress inappropriately in public challenge. Then they wonder why they get raped. As a man, how am I supposed to satisfy my urges? Yeah, if that uh, first tweet there, or second tweet rather, wasn't enough evidence for it, it's right there in text. He quite literally says that he would rape someone. You know, this guy really is scary, man, because number one, he just thinks women are sex objects like he literally said it himself. It's not even speculation. Along with the fact that he clearly supports rape and it doesn't appear to have much stopping him because he 80% of his profile is him complaining women don't love him. So nothing would stop him from raping someone from the sounds of it. And that's freaking horrifying, dog. Because like, okay, this guy makes these tweets but you don't have a face to go with the tweets you know you don't recognize them he could be sitting next to you on a bus and you wouldn't know that's terrifying and you know man by some cosmic alignment you managed to come across this video please go and get some help bro like these are very scary things to read because it's very clear you don't have a problem raping someone you know and if you don't see anything wrong with it you're inclined to go through with it and that's terrifying man because rape is something that messes someone up for like the rest of their lives you know it's something that always kind of sticks with them so please go and get help before you end up hurting someone one man and if not for the person you're going to be hurting at least get help for the sake of staying out of jail because i don't think they'll treat a rapist very good in prison but uh yeah i'm gonna call it here dude please get some help before you seriously end up hurting someone because not only will you land yourself in jail for probably the rest of your life you're also going to seriously mess someone up because of it and that's not cool but uh yeah that's about it then sick shot guys later